Fiona, Fee, guess what I just did? I don't really care, Cat. I was just trying to chill out and watch some Ox Venture. You don't care? Look at me, I just invented the third dimension. Oh, that's really cool. You don't seem to think it's really cool. You seem to just want to watch D&D streams. But look, I'll tell you what, well, I'll put some D&D stuff into the third dimension. How's that? I kind of would rather just watch my show. You're unbelievable. I am at the third dimension. <laughs> Come on, let's go do an episode. Ugh, fine. Hello and welcome to the Nifty Nerd Show. My name's Kat. My name is Fee. <laughs> and today, <laughs> I am animating D&D stuff into 3D. Yay. So to get started off, we are going to be having a little beholder. So I'm going to show you how I drew them, how I did the little um, animate things, and how they look in the end. And, you know, 3D animation is hard. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a lot more effort than I'm actually willing to put in. It's pretty hard to invent the third dimension then. <laughs> Okay, so maybe invent was a strong word because I used a uh, monster mash dot zone. Uh huh. To, you know, you'll see how it works later. Um, thought of, I saw it in a jazz video. Thought it'd be a fun idea to do for D and D stuff. Although I don't know how successful any of it was. To be fair. It wasn't, um, What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do I mean? It's Did like, you make a video of art you don't know about? Well, I do like, I, I do like it. It's just that how good it is is a matter up to interpretation. <laughs> so, you know, start off with a little eye. Lots of eyes. This seems like a, a much simpler drawing than what you'd normally do. Yeah, normally it takes me uh, half an hour. This took me five, or uh, three <laughs> minutes. Oh, <laughs> seems a lot simpler much. than what you normally do. <laughs> well, I'm just going to be animating it. I'll, I'll do, like, a little more complicated Ow. drawing later. That little mouth is very funny. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice. It makes me not too dissimilar from a Halloween jack-o'-lantern, I'm realizing. Mm, it is pretty dissimilar. <laughs> I just meant face-wise. Oh. It's pretty dissimilar. Okay, so this is the animation part. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. So you just draw over all the little uh, drawings and everything. Okay. And then you double-click the stuff you want to be thrown up twice. And then you inflate. Mm -hmm. And as you can see... Oh, dang, thanks. I'm just getting there. It's a bit of a monstrosity. <laughs> Why does your beholder look like it was an aluminum can run over by a truck? Um... <laughs> It look that bad, does it? Look at the little guy. Well, it's certainly a little flat. Also, I don't actually animate ever. Uh, I don't know I the know. like rules of animation. <laughs> you know, this is really just uh, winging it time. <laughs> you know, in my head, I was like, why is it going so much faster? I don't remember making the animation that fast. And then I was like, oh yeah, this is sped up <laughs> for the video. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Oh, that's pretty funny. No, it's not. <laughs> Just a little. I Seeing it, like, slowly move in the speed version is so funny. See it scamper about? It looks like it's running across the ocean floor. <laughs> Why specifically the ocean floor? I think I also saw that um, quip from a jazz video. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Well, what you gonna do? When somebody else has an idea, that's just time to take it. I don't know if I agree with that sentiment, Kat. What, what do you mean? Um, I think originality is important. Mm, but I invented the third dimension. Isn't that enough? Just because those Not guys Not in were... the face of copyright laws. <laughs> Just because those guys were already 3D doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that's, that's the rule of second dimension copyright law. Uh-huh. Kat, I don't know if that's true. Well, just look at this cause... little guy. He's just... I turned off the shading, I think, only for this one. Because I had the mine already there. Uh-huh. I think it looks cute with the little cartoon shading. Uh, yeah, I think it's real nice. 
Although it's still a little rough <laughs> looking. Well, it's not quite a circle. Yeah. Look at it. There we go. Oh. It's not that bad, is we it? gave it a little home. A little cave. <laughs> you know, I thought it was just a bunch of gray icicles. But that also go upward. Oi. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, honestly, it didn't turn out that bad. Some bits are a little more sticky outy than they should be, but what you're gonna do? Alrighty. Next up, we've got, like, a little goblin dude. Mm-hmm. I think this one was probably my favorite yeah, in the end. Yeah, you didn't tell me you'd be doing Star Wars fan art. Oh, Yoda? A little naked Yoda? I'm using, I'm using it to be, like, a layer that I can draw over. Yeah. But I now think. it just looks like a little, a little naked Yoda. He just has um, a little penis out. <laughs> Wow, that has a wrinkly face for a yeah. um small creature. It's a goblin. Yeah. What What do you mean it has a wrinkly face? I That's mean, what they look like. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, they do look like that. Out of all the real life goblins I've seen, most of them are pretty wrinkly. <laughs> This is me fiddling with layer transparency for forever because I didn't understand and then I was like, oh, my brush is transparent. <laughs> also on none of, uh, oh, I mean on all of these, I um, didn't do line art. I just did blotches of color for the characters. Yeah, that's not something you That was you horrible. Normally... <laughs> you always love your little line art, Cat, and you hate. You hate yeah. coloring. If no, you that's not true. Use a color, that is you're, furious. You're making stuff up. <laughs> but traditional, um, like in traditional art, I use black and white a lot more often. I don't know. I do black and white sometimes digitally. Despite the fact that you know color is the superior, it's the best part of the coloring well, process. I enjoy color. I just don't use them sometimes. Uh, traditionally, I did tripping on this one, but I didn't feel like it was as good as the last one. Um, look, now we get to do the tracing part. Oh, cat traces. Cat traces art, that's unbelievable. No wonder you talked about copyright or stealing other people's ideas. Uh, no, this is my this art. Is I can trace my art. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that this is the first time that I went around it, because then it goes, like, weird. Yeah, there we go. It's very scrawny goblin. No, I was going to say very disconnected from the whole body of Goblin. Mm, sure and I did it this time. And then I did it the third time. Hmm. Isn't this like the line art process? In a way. <laughs> but not really, because you can't really... I didn't find this way to zoom in on this website. I just wanted to zoom in and have a more accurate drawing. <laughs> I like zoomed in the whole screen. Well, you know, whatever works, works. <laughs> yeah, okay, I believe that this is the actual one that I use. <laughs> that we can finally start with. It's weird to see all of these go by a lot slower, because they all took, I think I did all of them in, like, a little over an hour. Wow, that's, I should do this all the time. I almost, yeah. I almost take it back, you know, much faster video making. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that thing is furious. <laughs> He's just a little guy. It's like he's building a little pitchfork to go join a mob. That ear is twitching so fast when it's... <laughs> go be in the I'm... background for the mob song in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't really... I don't make any of the characters, like, have, like, a walk cycle or something. They're just, like, hanging out, but, you know, in 3D and twitching a little. <laughs> well, what's the problem What's so funny about that? Oh, as opposed to... As opposed to what? As opposed to me. I am a two-dimensional creature in this universe, but I seem to also have the energy to go and twitch a lot. Oh, well, we've done two drawings now, right, Cat? Yeah. Uh, that's enough for a video, and I can go back to my show, right? Uh, no, but but we we are doing an Oxventure um, animation next. Not good enough, yeah. Okay, well, maybe hold your horses, man. <laughs> After all I do for you in this um, channel. What is it exactly that you do? Draw, edit, success, talk. <laughs> <laughs> I successfully draw. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I went with uh, Prudence from Accenture. Uh huh. Because she's my favorite one. 
Well, that's a fine opinion to have, even if Dobbs the best box edger. Well, you're wrong. Prudence is second best. Fair enough. But also Prudence is the best. Plus, I thought it'd be fun to make your tail wiggle. Okay, that's a pretty good reason. Also, the loincloth. You gotta make that loincloth wiggle, cat. If that loincloth is not wiggling in this it's, video. It'll wiggle, it'll wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> And then she's going to have, like, a big, like, Eldritch Blast going okay. out. But it's going to be a 3D Eldritch Blast. Ooh. Uh, so that'll be pretty neat. <laughs> this is me. Ah, uh, the idea of you having to do, what's it called? Bluff. Clipping mask? I think it's called then Photoshop. I think it's called coloring over a layer at her desk. Ah. <laughs> uh, that seems miserable for you. I, I didn't like doing it like this. I, I like just having the line art and being able to color in the line art. That's I didn't fair. like coloring over the other color of the, the colors and and the uh, colored line art I did for some bits. Mm -hmm. Like separated like the face of the darker red from the face. So just line art. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> she, mm, frisky in the darkness. You, you added them. That's nice. Yeah, well, you gotta go with the classic. <laughs> Can't trust that meddling orb, though. <laughs> I've gotta catch up on orb, orb apocalypse now. But I, every time I think about it, I'm just like, mm, but maybe later. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> not, not right now. Not super in the mood. <laughs> Although, on Adventure in the Dark, you're leaving, um... Freaking love, freaking love that show. Oh, yeah, I've been having an easier time watching it lately. I don't know why. You know how tedious not doing line art is. I, oh, I put the stupid sketch layer over my drawing layer so I could just just do the line art. <laughs> and I admit that I needed it. I don't seem that tedious, cat. You don't think you're overreacting any? No, I don't overreact. <laughs> I have reasonable responses. Ooh. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty happy with how the Eldritch, uh, old blast turned out in this. That's kind of fun. It took a while to think of something, but, uh, you know, it looks fun. I normally imagine the Eldritch blasts to be green, because it's like the Cthulhu color. Uh-huh. But I like oh. the pink one in terms of, like, this all should be a co homogeneous co color, color scheme. scheme. Yeah. I just gotta throw in green in there. Are you crazy, man? Are you messed This is why you're the lead artist. Which lead is a artist. strong title. This is why you're the lead published artist. artist. For, the, for the two nifty, um... <laughs> nifty what? Nifty nerds, I guess. At the time. <laughs> so, I, I... I don't know what was up with this animation. It felt like the little dots just weren't going far. I don't know. So I wish I could have put more movement, but, like, especially, like, in the tail or whatever. Like, I tried fiddle with the hair for a while, but it just ain't going. Well, relatable. Sometimes I don't want to move, and it takes a lot more than a little dot to get me to go. <laughs> a little dot? <laughs> You're so convenient. Okay. Well, I do like how, like I said, I like how the Eldritch Blast turned out in drawing and in the little animation. The riding Even though it's, you know, very chunky and stuff. It's, it's, it takes, it's like, you would think the animation is like the hardest part of this, but just freaking drawing something without lines, man, that's, <laughs> that's the true tragedy here. I don't know if I agree with that, cat. Well, it's true, so it doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay, I think we're almost done here. Yeah, yeah. So I gave her a little fun background, and I'm gonna move her around, but get, get a good look. Woo! Woo! Move her around, but not too far, because t she's a three-dimensional in the way that a pancake is three-dimensional. <laughs> yeah, that back looks like another face. <laughs> it starts to look a little weird. Well, Kat, I've gotta say, I did end up enjoying this episode. Oh, that's nice. Now, buddy. can I please go back to my show? Fine, I'll go. <laughs> well, 
Thanks for tuning in to the Nifty Nerd Show. Tune in next week, same Nifty time, same Nifty channel.